It's December 2022. It's minus five degrees outside and we are in the Shropshire Hills to find out if bikes have moved on in the last 30 years. The year is 1992, the brand is Cannondale, and the model is the M2000. This was absolutely top spec back then. Shimano Dior XT chain set uh, and hubs, bottom bracket, Ritchie Logic um, cranks uh, and brakes. The saddle's been changed since the original and we now got tubeless tyres on it, but actually the rest of it is pretty much as it was out the factory and it is in fantastic condition. There is a lot to love about this bike for a start the weight this thing weighs just 24 pounds it's it's nothing it's fantastic it's super lightweight it's a very very firm frame and it's a joy to ride in anger um, there are some things though that you have to get used to after 20 years of not really riding in anger and um, one of the main one of those is the spd pedals these are clipless pedals so there's no clip on the outside you clip these wonderful shoes here very trendy clip them into the pedals uh, that does take a little bit of getting used to <laughs> say hello to the my rider one and this one is the special van love edition let's get it out The bike is really easy to move around with the saddle. It's also really easy to put up. All you've got to do, is fold it like that, put the clip in, fold the handlebars up like that, lock them into place. And lift the saddle to the marker and you're good to go. This bike has a monster spec sheet. It's got a weld-free magnesium alloy frame. The weight, including the battery, is about 17.3 kilograms. That's 25% more than the Cannondale, but of course the Cannondale doesn't have electrical assist. Battery is from Samson. Uh, that's seven amp hour, which gives you up to the 45 mile range at a maximum electrically assisted speed of 15.5 miles an hour. Two to three hours to charge it up. The rear hub motor is 250 watts. Not only that, it's got rear suspension, Clark's cable disc brakes, telescopic seat and handlebar stems, integrated front light, IP65 waterproof rating, and it's also got puncture protection. It's also got this fantastic boost button. So if you need to get off the lights quick or you need that extra bit of help up a hill, hit that button and off you go. So easy. This van and Adria Twin Supreme 640 is perfect for carrying a full-size mountain bike. The bed goes up and you've got this lovely space. But for those of us that love van life and don't have that kind of space in the back, a mountain bike like the Cannondale is just not going to work. And that's where this 2022 bike comes into its own. Unclick the handlebars, drop them down to the side of the bike. You unclip the frame, gentle knee pushes it apart. You've got a magnet just on the inside here. And you push the bike together like that and it sticks. If you want to put the saddle down because you need some extra space, you can put that down. You just lift it up and you're good to go. Behind the camera is Jo right now. Uh, she's helping me film this. And I can tell you, I've just tried to keep up with her on this fantastic 1992 Cannondale compared to her electrically powered 2022 My Rider. I'm exhausted, she's smiling, enough said. You might say that this is a pretty unfair test because these bikes were fundamentally made for very different things. That is the fastest kind of off-road bike you could get back then. And this is definitely more for commuting though. The point of cycling is it's all about having fun. I had fun back then, I wanna have fun now. Is that the right bike? Is that still top of its game? Or is this the game changer? First of all, comfort. Out of 10, 
three. Just doesn't suit my 40 something year old body now. This one, definitely a nine. It's upright, it's comfortable, the saddle's fantastic. So that's a win for my rider. Build quality, they're both brilliant. So let's give them nine out of 10 and call it a draw. The fun factor, well, I'm sorry, this wins the My Rider hands down yet again. What about marks for practicality? Well, as you know, we're massively into van life here. This bike is going to win it all day long. The My Rider folds down super small, as you've seen earlier in the video. The Cannondale, you have to take it as it is. If there was a bike call wall, which one would you pick? I mean, for me, you can't beat that traditional vintage 1992 Cannondale frame. The question we started this video with was, have bikes moved on in 30 years? And if you haven't ridden an electric bike, you really need to. It's an absolute game changer. This really does move the game on an awful lot. Adding to that, it's got a 45 mile range. It's got disc brakes rather than rim brakes. It's a completely different experience and one I personally love. So is there a clear winner? Well, honestly, of course there isn't. They are totally different bikes for totally different uses. Is the Cannondale the best vintage bike you can probably get your hands on? I'd argue it is. Fixed tail, super light, super fast. It's a fantastic piece of kit, but for everyday needs now, especially when you've got a motorhome, is the My Rider awesome? It's so awesome. This one, the limited edition Van Love version, it ticks all the boxes. Relatively lightweight, very compact, very cool in our van love colors as well. Which one would I take home? For me, it's the My Rider one all day long. And the quicker I get out of these shoes, the better. Joe, I'll race you home. Hey!